Can I ask you what song you're listening to? What song are you listening to? Name and an artist. A song for someone new to. For each forgotten kiss, for all the memories, for all the times of look. Miami horror, love like mine. Invincible by Michael Jackson. Play. Yeah, name of the song. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones, and I will try. Music, it's wonderful, isn't it? Ever since our ancestors started beating their sticks to create a primitive drum beat, we haven't been able to stop playing it and our love of music has only grown. How much has it grown? Well, our love of music can be gauged by the enormous industry that has been built around it. In 2014, it was estimated that we spent over $15 billion on music. Rock band U2 was paid $100 million by Apple last year for the rights to their latest album, and Apple gave away that album for free on iTunes to anyone who wanted to download it. Well, you know what they say, you have to spend money to make money. Apple also acquired Beats Electronics, the makers of popular Beats by Dr. Dre headphones for $3 billion. Included in the acquisition was the Beats streaming service, which Apple will rebrand into Apple Music. So what about live music? Are people still listening to live music? Or are they only interested in plugging in their earphones? Well here we are at Pitt Street Mall, where on any given day you can find buskers performing live music. And it definitely draws a crowd. Remember that $15 billion figure I told you about? Well, that doesn't include live music and shows. It's only for recorded music. In Australia alone, the live music industry is estimated at $2.2 billion. Globally, if we factor in all live music and recorded music, it comes to a whopping $60 billion. And this figure probably doesn't account for revenues such as your local pub or street buskers. So whether you love playing music, watching it, or just listening to it, it's a love born from primal origins that has only grown throughout time. And if you didn't love music before, I at least hope that you have a little more understanding on why the rest of us do, and why we spend $60 billion a year on this love. But if you want my personal opinion, the best music isn't bought, it's shared.